charts have updated as of 521-2024. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Um, we are going to discuss, if you're new to my channel, because I do have a couple new subscribers, welcome if you are new. I'm Destiny, and once a week, I do a weekly chart analysis that goes into uh, Nicki's charts, right? Like, what is Nicki Minaj doing on the chart? What are her songs doing on the chart, on radio? We have new certifications this week that we're going to discuss, and we're also going to discuss streaming milestones. But I need you to make it to the end of this video so that you make it all the way there, because this information is really important. So please like this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and make sure you got all notifications turned on so you never miss when I upload. These Barbology episodes on the charts drop every Wednesday morning, okay? bitch unless i'm running motherfucking late and i am today because bitch it's 7 a.m right now and i'm recording this so anyway before we get into the charts though um as you guys know nikki is probably taking the jet today to amsterdam um in the netherlands because she is kicking off the european leg of her tour there tomorrow so shout out to all of the amsterdam barbs who are going to be in the building make sure that show is sold out if you go into amsterdam let me know in the comments if you are going to the european leg of the tour let me know in the motherfucking comments bitch i'm gonna need all of y'all and, um reviews okay so yeah let's get into it so on the billboard 200 chart y'all know the albums chart uh pink friday 2 by Nicki minaj her fifth album moves down 15 spots this week to number 100 it's number 100 on the chart be reminded that this chart has 200 spots okay so if she falls for 100 more spots you already know what's gonna happen it's now been charting for 23 weeks Nicki minaj becomes the first female rapper to spend 400 cumulative weeks on the billboard 200 chart now, here are, the, are some of the highest selling rap albums of 2024. Pink Friday 2 has sold over 500,000 units thus far this year. Nicki Minaj is, oh, and I, it just says that here <laughs> again. It's the highest selling um, female rap album of the year and the sixth highest selling rap album overall, okay? So, um, Queen Radio Volume 1, which is Nicki Minaj's first compilation album ever, ranks at number 38 on Aria's hip-hop and R&B albums chart. Aria, if you don't know, that's the Australian um album chart system. And so she's charting in Australia with uh, Queen Radio Volume 1, extending her record as the longest charting female rap project released in 2022. It's now been charting for 90 weeks. Oh my God, this is so unorganized. Oh my God, everybody, um, Nicki Minaj and Lil Uzi Vert is currently seeing a resurgence on US urban radio as it re-enters the top 20 with 550 spins. But see, this that you can't hear, see in the um, in the back, I'm so sorry about that. But what I wanted to show you is that if you could see, it says top five, um, and then it's, you see number one, it says everybody. So what it's saying is, is the top five decreases on radio this week. And so what it's telling us is that Everybody is number one on that list. It decreased, as you can see, negative 1.20 million audience. Everybody was falling at radio just a couple days ago, but then this tweet came out saying that it's seeing an increase on U.S. urban radio. So go and request everybody, Nicki Minaj, Lil Uzi Vert, um, on your, the radio station in your city, okay? So the song previously spent two weeks at number one on urban, and it's currently the fifth most played song on the format this year. So on the Shazam Global Hip Hop Radio Chart, you got everybody at number five, Starship's number 70, 83, Super Freaky Girl, 88, Barbie World, 89, FCCU, 193, Pink Friday Girls. Now, Beat Me Up Scotty by Nicki Minaj received 110, 135,000 streams on its third anniversary. So Beat Me Up Scotty uh, had its third anniversary since the re-release. Remember, Nicki released it May 14th, 2021. So it, it crossed three weeks of being re-released last week. And so uh, last week it went up 4.26% in stream. So I wanted to recognize that. Make sure y'all go stream Nicki's mixtape, okay? Now, Nicki songs with the biggest increases in streams on Spotify. One thing I like to do is just talk about like uh, songs that are increasing on streaming because of uh, the tour for any reason, right? So here are some songs that aren't a part of the tour, but they're still increasing on uh, Spotify. And so this from four five fourteen to five fifteen, so I lied. Uh, plus eight percent, falling for you six point seven three percent. LLC uh, six point three percent. Money five point eight eight percent. Moment for life five point one. Uh, Megatron four point nine. My life four point eight five. Good to see that the boys four seven four, which is real interesting, right? The boys, Nicki Minaj, Cassie, Diddy, interesting. Want some more? Increase four point seven three percent. Now the night is still young. Okay, this is a big issue 
thing of the uh, analysis this week because the Night is Still Young is seeing a lot of huge increases on Spotify as well. Of course, it's because of the tour. And it's so crazy how the song has still been increasing on Spotify, even though the tour is wrapped in the US, okay? So the Night is Still Young by Nicki Minaj had a new biggest stream day ever with 243,445 streams up um, 0.37%, okay? The track received over 200 streams. It says right here for 13 consecutive days, but at this point, I'm only showing you the biggest number, but at this point, it's been about, I believe, 14 days since the song has been doing over 200K in one day. Um, and so we'll get into more of that later. But right here, I wanted to show you because uh, I wanted to show you the, what is it that I want to show you? Here, everybody, super freaky girl, the night is still young, swallow here. Oh, FTCU, the sleaze mix. Look at number 16. So I wanted to show you because we, the sleaze mix, right, for FTCU, we haven't really been talking about that because it's not on the chart, like, or whatever. So I haven't been seeing the streams. And so finally, I saw the stream, the daily stream count. So it's streaming 160K.7 per day, which is pretty good. I like to see all of these numbers in green. That means it's going up. So a total of FTCU uh, remix, uh, Travis Scott, Sexy Red, Chris Brown, Nicki Minaj, 10.4 million streams so cool who's still streaming that sleaze mix let me know so here are Nikki's top daily albums and songs okay so pink friday 2 gained 1.79 million streams the previous day roman reloaded the re-up 1.16 million pink friday 976 million the pink print and then you have queen okay so and i'm glad to see these numbers going up because they were going down like especially the other albums because we were so focused on pink friday 2 so but let me know what y'all been streaming lately it's giving like the barb's been moving around to other albums because we're seeing a lot of increases amongst the whole catalog not just pink friday stuff here we are at the certifications, one of my favorite parts. Um, so from chart data, they said that We Go Up has now sold over 500,000 units in the U.S. So now it is certified, sorry, not certified. It's not certified yet, but is eligible to be certified uh, gold status uh, for selling over 500,000 units in the U.S. Yikes has now earned over 2 million units in the U.S. In the US so it is now uh, eligible to be certified two times platinum. It's already certified platinum and needs to be certified two times platinum. So in the future, I will bring you guys the news when Nikki uh, certifies it and we will have the official report for that. It has not been certified yet. So here are some more streaming counts for the album. So as I told you, it gained 1.7 in the previous day, up 17.92%. The album has surpassed now 800 million streams since the release. Falling For You um, had a, a big increase over 138.68%. Over 100 like that means it kind of doubled in streams big difference oh my god 111.86 percent and barbie dangerous increase of 98.45 percent these are the songs that had the biggest gains in uh the the streams um in this day of reporting so here i told you right the night is still young uh it's being it's we saw the biggest increase where we saw May 17th, 243K, 445, right? I told you that was the biggest day ever. May 20th, it went, um, it went to 233, 218, 224, up 2.91%. So that was the biggest day ever. Um, and yeah, like, I hope you guys understand, like, what this means. And this is important because this song being a part of the pink print, what is it, about to be 12, 10 years old at this point? And this is a really great pop song doing new heights because of the tour. Over 200K streams. I think before the tour, it was like 100 thousand daily or 50 or whatever so it's just really good to see Nikki's catalog getting the love it deserves so um here is another update um I just like to show you this because I'm once again showing you specific songs that have increased so don't pay attention to like oh the it received 1.9 million streams the previous day it really doesn't matter right but I just want to show you that count girl increase 160.22 percent falling for you 122.4 percent bomb bomb 96.27 percent big difference 95.64 percent these are having big gains as well on the album and that's pretty much what i had thus far so if you made it to the end please comment week 23 as it is the 23rd week for the album that is charting right now um and yeah let me know if you guys have any questions most importantly i need you guys to keep streaming on the playlist that i have linked below in the description on spotify apple music pandora um amazon music if you need a playlist please let me know it's important to stream the album at least once per day to keep it on the chart because it is a, at a huge risk of falling right now and we want nikki to chart i'm uh, sorry i'm sorry we want pink friday 2 to chart longer than queen and we need to keep streaming and buying in order for that to happen so at the very least please just stream pink friday 2 all the way through once a day and i'm talking about every song not just your favorites but that is it for now once again please like the video and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one